So I've been using Shopify and Wix to make e-commerce websites for several years. They're both powerful and beginner-friendly platforms, but choosing the wrong one could be absolutely detrimental. It could be the difference between a successful e-commerce store that works well, functions smoothly, and a waste of time and money that ultimately fails. So which one is actually the right one for you? Well, based on my own experience, my extensive research, and talking with a lot of other users of both platforms, I think I have the answer between Wix and Shopify, and ultimately it comes down to what you plan on using it for. So while both tools were made in 2006, they launched with very, very different intents. And I think the root of our answer is in their reason for launch. So Shopify was launched as an e-commerce first platform. In the beginning, it was pretty rudimentary. There's not a whole lot you could do, but it was definitely focused on selling. That was their main goal. Whereas Wix, on the other hand, started off as a website builder, which was great, but they really wanted to be super easy, very accessible, very drag and drop. And as the years went on, they added a ton of other functionality, for example, e-commerce. And they've both developed to the point where Shopify is now a great website builder and Wix is a great e-commerce platform, which makes this a really interesting comparison in my opinion. These two are neck and neck in many scenarios, but we'll talk about the ones which really differentiate them. I want to break this down into several different categories. The first one is going to be the design tools, designing your website. What is it like to actually make a website using Wix? And what is it like to use Shopify? Well, with Wix starting off, you have two main routes you can take. You can use their AI to kind of build your website for you, uh, or you could go with a template, a theme essentially. And this is going to be a pre-made website that then you can customize pretty extensively. Whichever one you choose, whenever you decide to customize your website. So let's say you go with a template and you start customizing your website. Wix is like they've always been very, very good at being infinitely customizable and very intuitive for beginners. So dragging and dropping elements over and then placing them exactly where you want on the page is basically their bread and butter. That is what they're known for. And they make it very easy to build your website. But that is both good and bad. It's good because for one, of course, you can have an infinitely customizable website. You can make exactly what's in your mind and you can make it with, with ease as well. But the downside here is that because there's a lot more going on, depending on how somebody's viewing your website, whether it is on a desktop, on a laptop, on an iPad, or on a phone, which is probably going to be about half of your online traffic, it's going to be more risky. So Wix does have, like, it's usually pretty responsive and it usually translates well, but because it's less curated and less structured, you need to be more on top of that. So it could potentially look slightly off on some devices. Whereas Shopify, on the other hand, is much more curated, more structured, which means less can go go wrong or look weird when you switch between devices, but with that, a little bit less customization. Shopify is generally a simpler and more streamlined process when you're making it. The website design can be made from, I think they have like 140-ish templates. I'll show the exact number on screen here, but of those templates, they're all really made for e-commerce. So there's not a whole lot you really have to change in my opinion. Uh, you can go with one of those, swap out the, the pictures, the text, the buttons, the colors, and of course you can add stuff as well. You can click and drag things over. It's just a little bit trickier to place things. Like if you really wanted a picture like weirdly over on the corner, it's a lot harder to do that with Shopify and a lot easier to do that with Wix. So if you have an idea of exactly how your website needs to look, then yeah, Wix has an advantage here. But for most people, I think Shopify's builder is more than sufficient. In fact, I also found this really cool tool recently. This is not sponsored by any means, by the way, uh, but it's called Gem Pages. I started using this and what you can do is essentially replicate any website that you really like. So if you really like Nike's homepage or Kim Kardashian's or anyone else's online store, you can use Gem Pages just with a screenshot of that website, they use their AI to rebuild it for you. And then it's very responsive, so it's easy for you then to customize and completely make it your own. So you're not copying someone else, you're just starting off with their concept and then building it out to be your own. So that could really save you a lot of time. I thought it was a cool tool. I'll link to it down below if you guys wanna check it out and learn more. Uh, but continuing on, like I said, Shopify is definitely all mobile responsive. That's like their thing. It works on any device, no matter what. And Wix works on devices as well, but like I said, you gotta be a little more conscious and, and really double check everything when you're making it. Now, Wix allows 100 pages per website, which is, I don't even know why I'm mentioning this because that's way more than I've ever had on any website. Shopify technically allows unlimited pages on a website for what that's worth. So you're going to be limited more likely on the storage when you get to that level. Wix also limits you to 5,000 products, which again is basically infinite in my mind. I, I, I couldn't imagine managing more than 5,000 products. Shopify is technically unlimited though. So again, you don't have a limit technically, 
but you would never reach that anyway. Now, moving on to the second category of this video, these are shop related features. Essentially, when you're building out your online store, what kind of differences do we really see? So both of these do have a lot of the fundamentals that we would like to see in e-commerce. It's very easy to set up products, to track inventory, to track sales, to track customers, to do all of that stuff, your marketing. It's all very streamlined on both of these. However, when you get into some more advanced sales reporting, Shopify does offer some more in-depth sales reporting, in my opinion. And in addition, if you ever decide to sell in person with the point of sale, Shopify also kind of streamlines that and synchronizes all your data into one place. Where Wix does also allow for point of sale, but they do separate those data when you're looking into your analytics. Another cool benefit of Shopify, which is a little bit less relevant now that we have ChatGPT, is the terms and conditions templates. So they have some for like return policies, terms and conditions, like different things like that. Uh, if you go into your settings on Shopify, you could just say like insert from template. It knows your address. It knows all your information for your store. And it just makes that page for you. Could save you a lot of time and effort. But like I said, with ChatGPT out there, you could do the same thing and just put that on your Wix website. And I really wouldn't think that makes too much of a difference in my opinion. Something that's cool is that both of these do allow you to manage your shipping and have automatic estimates. So depending on where somebody is and when they're ordering, they can have an exact price on the shipping. Wix works with USPS, so US Postal Service. Shopify works with a few more than that. I believe USPS, UPS, and DHL, if I'm not mistaken. And Shopify has some more advanced options as well with how you group uh, different products and different shipping zones and stuff like that. Like I said, Shopify is really meant to be an e-commerce platform. So if any category in this video went to Shopify as the winner, we would expect to be this category right here. Like all, after all, it's called Shopify. So shopping should really be what they're good at. Now, Shopify also has some really good sales tools and features. Honestly, I would probably say the best in the industry. So in this category, like I said, definitely goes to Shopify. All right, the next category is customer support, essentially getting help when you need it. Now, I have full tutorials on either of these, so hopefully you don't need any extra help, uh, but ultimately, like you're gonna run into a question at some point that you want to ask. So for me personally, I prefer to use either forums or ChatGPT slash Google Bard, like some AI assistance there. Uh, but the good thing is they both both have some pretty decent customer support here. So on one hand, we have just like the general FAQs, the questions, the online forums that are available. So the online help center on both of them, uh, you can access a lot. What I like about Wix is that it is within the editor. So you don't have to go and check out one thing and then switch between your tabs a lot. Uh, you can just like follow step, st step by step within the editor on a little pop-up. That is super useful, but Shopify does have a better help center when you're trying to contact somebody, in my opinion. So Wix is Monday through Friday, Shopify is 24 seven. So if you're working on it on a Saturday, because this is like a side hustle for you, then Shopify could be a big advantage there. They also have chat, email, and phone. Uh, so more ways to contact them, whatever you're most comfortable with. I think that could be a pretty big advantage. But like I said, for simpler questions, if you're just trying to like link up with a Facebook pixel or something like that, it's complicated, but the step-by-step -step procedures on either one of these does a pretty impressive job. Then we get into the next category being pricing, which is honestly beyond the numbers you might first see. And let me explain this. So at first glance, you might look and say, well, this like the lowest tier of that one versus the lowest tier of the other one and kind of compare it like that. But it's not just the price of the plan you're paying for, but also the price of the fees you'd be paying for if somebody was placing orders. So starting off with Wix, there is a free option, which is great. You can get started, you can build your website and just not sell in it at all and just kind of mess around with it, learn how to use it. And then eventually, if you ever wanted to upgrade, you could go up to $27 for basic e-commerce. That's what it's going to cost per month. It's going to be $32 for standard e-commerce and $159 per month for advanced e-commerce, uh, which gives you better templates and stuff like that. Now, comparing to Shopify, Wix is technically $2 cheaper per month, but that is for basic e-commerce, whereas with Shopify, you're getting your full e-commerce with their basic plan, and that's $29 per month. Uh, if you go up to $79 per month uh, with Shopify, that's their next tier up. And really the biggest difference here and with advanced is going to be in your credit card rates, uh, which is a really interesting thing that Shopify does. So with Wix and Shopify, at the base level, you're paying 30 cents per transaction plus 2.9% for credit card transactions online. But with Shopify, if you upgrade to $79 per month or $299, which I would, I would expect pretty much nobody watching this video is going to start off with that. Um, that's like when you get some really massive sales volumes, then you actually cut it down to 2.6 or even 2.4% credit card transaction fees. So that kind of shows that as you scale with Shopify, you could reduce those rates with Shopify payments. And that could be an advantage if you ultimately have a really large business in the future. 
but of course with that $299 per month. So it doesn't really justify that price difference until you're selling a lot. Now Shopify payments also works in 22 countries while Wix still is global, works in 15 countries. Honestly, I usually do most of my online selling just domestically in the US. So neither of those really matter to me. As far as the pricing goes, these are pretty much neck and neck. I think it just depends on how much you plan to scale your store and how much you plan to uh, kind of mess around in the beginning before you actually get started. And by the way, if you did want to mess around with Shopify before you get started, they do actually have a trial down below. I'll have a link. Uh, I think it's $1 for a month um, and then you can actually start paying for the normal plan. But in that month, you're actually able to sell. So it gives you a nice runway to build it out for $1, decide if you really like it, and then you can continue selling and building everything in that first month. So either one has a free trial. If you want to get started, I'll have links to both down below. Uh, they support the channel. So if you enjoy this video and found it helpful, please consider using our links when you get started. It really helps us to make this content for free. All right. And then we get into category number five. This one is so interesting. One of the biggest differences between these two platforms, and this is the marketing category. So Wix has a lot of great integrations, a lot of apps, a lot of plugins, as well as a lot of in-house stuff that they built for their own website builder. They also have great SEO functions and honestly, plenty of in-house marketing options. You can do a lot of email marketing with, with Wix. Uh, they also have their SEO wizard, which is search engine optimization. So optimizing for Google is made very easy within Wix. They have a lot of great blogging tools. Uh, so you can build out a blog and a lot of the customization in your blog can kind of map over to what I was saying with the website builder. So your blog is easier to make uh, a little bit more custom, have your own spin on how it actually looks, which I think is a pretty big advantage there. Shopify, however, has some other cool things like they have gift cards, for example, which doesn't sound like marketing, but I would absolutely categorize gift cards as marketing as something that somebody can give to somebody else and, and kind of make them aware of your store. It's kind of a cool feature uh, that is natively built into Shopify, super easy to use. Discount codes and things like that are also very accessible. And Shopify has some pretty incredible social media integrations. So kind of summarizing the difference in marketing here, I think it depends on how you plan on marketing your platform. So if you only care about organic marketing, you're never going to be doing anything inorganic uh, and you're not gonna do anything with social, then Wix is great. They make it very easy with the blog, SEO wizard, ranking on Google can definitely happen pretty easily with Wix, which is not to say you can't rank on Google and Shopify, but they just, it's a little bit simpler with Wix for beginners to actually figure that out. Then we have Shopify, which I would say is going to be better if you plan on utilizing social media and especially if you plan on running ads. So Shopify syncs up really well and allows you to sell on many different platforms. TikTok shop, for example, you can run TikTok ads and it syncs over super well on your Shopify store. In addition, you can sell on Pinterest, on Etsy, on Amazon, like there's a Walmart as well. They really paired up with pretty much everybody out there. From that aspect, having more sales channels on Shopify could definitely be a pretty big advantage, especially to really utilize those massive user bases on things like TikTok, for example, and setting up TikTok shop. So kind of in conclusion between the two of these, if you are really serious about selling, Shopify is definitely the answer. It means shop is in the name. They are the best e-commerce platform out there. And so I think it's really no surprise that anybody who is either a large business already, definitely use Shopify. If you're a small business, a small shop, and you want to really scale, Shopify is great there. Uh, honestly, frictionless scaling is kind of what we're seeing with the pricing plans as well as all of the tools available. Whereas Wix is better for anyone who wants to make an easy and deeply customizable website first, but you might also sell a few items as well. Maybe you're trying to make like a, a personal brand website and you have one or two little merch items you want to sell, then Wix could be a, a really good way to do that. But Shopify is the brand of choice for tons of big sellers out there. Uh, shops that you probably already know of. So like Kim Kardashian's, we've got Mouse, the phone cases, One Wheel, Soylent, Figs, Aloe Yoga, and like many, many others. Like you can actually, I'll have a list down below a link. There's a list of like, big Shopify stores that you've probably already used. I mean, they all look really impressive. So I hope you found this video helpful between the two of them, whichever one you decide to use. I have a full tutorial on how to set them up. Uh, so I'll have those links down below as well as affiliate links to get started and claim your free trial. So be sure to go down, check out those links, and I'll see you in the full tutorial.